Another weird quirk about the car is the steering wheel. You don't have a traditional steering wheel. This is a Cybertruck steering wheel and it has steer by wire where you lightly tap it down to the left, you lightly tap it down to the right and that will turn the car. So that is pretty interesting about the car. You need to keep that in mind whenever driving this car. Also another weird quirk about this car is that it has all LED strips around the car. So it kind of illuminates the back and the front whenever you're driving this car. Another weird quirk about this car is that you just have a singular screen. This, this screen controls everything around the car. So this is how you drive. This is how you put your navigation. This is how fast that you can, you're going. So this screen is basically your main kind of uh, your main computer. And if this screen were to break, honestly, you're kind of screwed to be quite frank with you, especially when you're driving, which is kind of scary. I've driven this car a couple times and I've had the screen go blank and it's pretty scary. Um, however, the car is still driving. You can still brake, you can still accelerate, but you want to keep in mind, it could break and that's one of the scariest things I've ever had happen to me. So just kind of keep in mind that this screen, it's a cool screen, but it is kind of sketch. Another thing about the car that I think is kind of weird is that you have a camera here. This camera is here to spy on you. Just kidding. It's honestly here for full self-driving, so it kind of pays attention to your eyes whenever you're driving the car to make sure you're paying attention to the road, you're awake, and you're not falling asleep. But it is kind of sketch knowing that there's camera watching you. Another thing about the car is it's all touch screen. So this light over here, which is kind of funny, it's not a button, it's all touch. So if you press that, that's how you press uh, start, uh, turn on the lights within the car. So that's kind of funky. As you can see here, another weird quirk is that there is no front glove box compartment. You actually have it hidden. So let's press this, open glove box. And the glove box opens from down there. Isn't that kind of cool? Close glove box, close glove box. And it closes. That's kind of cool. 